All right, so we're back. And unfortunately, rebooting did not fix the problem. I recompiled and it's still dark. So this is extremely frustrating bug for me. At the same time though, I'm very fascinated by it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna solve it. But uh, I need to think quite a bit about it first. I said I'd be back, so I'm back, even though it's not super exciting because I'm still stuck in the middle of a big, gigantic WTF. But uh, I appreciate the fact that you guys still got something out of this time. All I got was intense frustration. <laughs> Incredulousness. <laughs> it was working. It was working fine. This will be a good level... I were to make the whole thing brushes. You know, I could do that. Just for now. Ah, screw it. I'm gonna do that. Even though we're getting close to the end of it. I can at least allow it face like at least I can continue to Ford, yeah, so mysteriously, a whole bunch of the lights just decided to stop working for me. The deferred, deferred, the deferred lights. Really, for no apparent reason whatsoever that I can determine. Okay, I gotta fix that at some point. I see what's happening here. There's a this slope goes right to the end here, whereas this is straight. So I need to have, pull this back and make it straight. I doubt that's causing. No, I'm positive that's not causing this. It, and it's, the problem is not has nothing to do with actually what I've done in the level. It has to do with, for whatever reason, levels. When I'm compiling levels now, anything except for a certain type of object is not getting lit. So it's really, really strange. To show you guys how uh, this will work now. You'll, you notice that it was dark before, now it will work. But I can't map. Shouldn't be using the brushes that way. This is more to uh, demonstrate that I do understand more of what's happening here.
There, see? There! Level as it should look. Only because I turned the whole thing into a gigantic hit. You guys hearing the sound of the game at all? Source blending the animation for ten. Okay, you're just talking about concerning one stuff. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, so see, this is how the level should work. Looks just fine. But. Ooh. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Why? Oh, why? Won't the lights work with standard geometry? Like it's always worked, like it works in the game, like it works for thousands upon people right now, and it's just like, it doesn't make a lick of sense. I'll just spend the rest of time reading your stuff here, commenting where necessary. You don't have a combat blade knife? It's not really a bishop thing, though, to be cutting people. Um, punching, yes. Super punching, especially with the charge punch and whatnot. Knocking people unconscious, that sort of thing. That's really the goal of a bishop. Bishop's not really a knife. Life is really, it's not really a bishop combat style. Hmm, wondering. Uh, I'm gonna restart, and let's just see if this guy can navigate with the. Entities being all, well, the whole world being an entity. Hi. Yeah. Did you shoot me? go back to see if I, can, if I get that logic working of having him go an assault. Uh, I think that's we got, that's, we got I got deviated from that when I discovered suddenly this bizarro lighting bug came upon us. At least with this I can keep working on the level. Figuring out that crap. So I might do that for a little bit more longer here guys. Make a little more progress. So we are back at the bot assault. 
And we had made it to squad one. We made it to those two points. Start active, yes. Make sure this guy. did was we went wanted to make sure that the logic was actually being fired. So let's go do that again. Just throw it in the throw it in this. Spawn, begin assault. Let's just give it a few seconds. Okay. Hopefully. Okay, I still have the other one. All right, it's fine. Whatever. Mind about town. Thanks a lot for coming. Appreciate it. Really appreciate you joining the stream. And uh, hopefully see you next time. Everybody here, I really appreciate you guys coming. It's awesome. Having about 10 or 13 people watch me work is, is a little daunting, but it's also kind of cool. Um, I just I kind of wanted to have more done. Oops. Tower question. We know Malcolm is going to be in the tower. So can we kill him? That is a gigantic spoiler bait if I ever heard a question. I'm just simply not going to answer that question. <laughs> I, you will be able to interact. He, 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 he has a part in the upcoming interactive story of the tower. That's about all I'm going to say, though. <laughs>
Yeah, I kind of want. I, I really want to get this level done one way or the other, Devour. So I, I, I'll be working quite a bit on this. I'll be booting up and showing you guys stuff, pre-production stuff we did in the tower. But uh, I won't be personally developing new stuff in the tower. Uh, and we won't be doing that until next month when the campaign concludes and uh, we all dive into production. At that point, you'll start to see streams specifically related to the tower. But there's a ton of work. I, I can could, I could happily show you the stuff we've done already in Unreal 4, though. I will do that soon. Yeah, uh, I, we've got Zenlo partially in Unreal 4. Uh, it's cool you asked that because we have, we have an upcoming update that you'll get uh, where we'll be showing you that. I'm talking a little bit about uh, Zenlo in Unreal 4. Uh, we won't be fully converting Zenlo into Unreal 4 until quite, actually, unfortunately, quite a bit late into the, into the production process. There's other stuff we need to do first, but uh, we, you can see the beginning of it anyways now. Uh, but yeah, I need to test why that guy's not... That guy didn't wake up. I didn't really get this working. I still don't understand why that why that bug occurred. Um, I just know now how to work around it at least. That's partial progress. It's not exactly. Very complicated, Devour. Uh, lots of people across all the different disciplines. All the stuff needs to be done. It's an entire approach we have in front of us. It involves multiple phases, multiple stages, getting various different pieces, bits, bits and pieces done. Based based on everything we've already constructed, based on porting work, all the stuff we need to pull over from Consortium One. Lots and lots of factors. He wakes up now. So, like he was getting confused, he wasn't able to see how to get to the assault point down here. And I'm pretty sure he can make his way down here. Uh, perhaps not. You notice how he stops when I go down here? means he loses track of me when I'm down here. So there's something. When I get really fancy here, I'll show you guys the nav editing system. So I did all this before. Ah. Okay. Uh, I get what's happening now. Uh, so first of all, I need to sh shut that guy down. Yeah, we got a ways to go to that first crash goal. As I say, I think I, we're not too surprised that there's a bit of a drop after us hitting the goal. Um, but we're hoping as we approach the end of the campaign, there'll be more people jumping on. Um, we got a cool update that's going to help us get done by the end of today as well on stealth. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit about nav editing since we're here. I know what's causing that, the reason why that guy can't find the, the assault point and why he loses track of me when I'm down here. Uh, it's because the nav mesh is not connected down there. So you can see here, there's a, a nav mesh that's suddenly disconnected. That's because it's down here. So what I'll do is we'll nav delete that one. And then we need to connect this to down here. So we go nav mark. And then down here, so then operation called splice. There we go. Now it's connected. The same problem is going to be on this side as well. 
until you guys get to see a little bit about how the nav mesh stuff works. So once again, to delete the one that's down there. Mark this one. Splice it to this one. There we go. And then, just need to save. Now, if we restart the level, theoretically, he should be able to find his way down there. Making his way down to me now. So, this means I should be able to now turn back on the assault. Fused when it starts, and he should be automatically heading towards that assault point. There he is, see? He's marched on his way down towards it. So if I stay out of the way of him, he should make his way all the way down, eventually, to get to the civilians, which is what we want, right? We want guys to spawn and then march their way towards the civilians steadily and surely. Yes, it is. Jeremy Sloan was just playing. Mm -hmm. I love his music, obviously, and have a lot of his music in my concentration playlist. I would say the Unreal 4, because we're going to be using the, the stock engine with no tech, no major modifications, um, the, the, the tower will be very moddable, for sure. And we'd love to integrate Steam Workshop. Matter of fact, we, we, we wanted to do it with, with Consortium 1. There wasn't no, as much of a... There wasn't a huge demand for it, but more, more importantly, we kind of just didn't have the resources to do it. There he is. He's still making his way down there. He's going to... Completely ignore me. He should see me and shoot at me. I, I would think. Oh, he's, he's not even shooting at me. He's just like, I am going. I am going to go where I'm told to go, and that's it. I would have thought he'd shoot me on the way, but oh, oh now, now, now he's now he's, now he's shooting me. Okay. Would have 
just going all the way there. This time I'll let him just let him walk all the way there. Devour? Yes and no. We actually uh, disabled a lot of the portal gun, a lot of the stuff that the portal gun works with. Um, it's not, definitely not the stock Portal 2 engine. Like I say, we completely replaced the renderer, so I would say that no, it'd be a lot of work to get the portals working uh, in this. Making his way there. None of the core mechanics are changing. You'll have a lot of the same weapons and guns and mechanics to deal with in the tower. Just be improving them. A massive polish pass across the board, essentially. Kind of like the, it's kind of like this guy's like the Borg. He'll completely ignore me unless I interfere with what he's doing. <laughs> Good, so that works. They assault all the way to here. Which is cool. I'm actually happy to uh, potentially close the stream now. i got to get back on to... Actually, i got to get on to um, uh, producing the stealth update for you guys and everybody else in the campaign. So... Um, yeah, what is he doing? Is he sliding across the floor? That's interesting. Very interesting. A few other things, the blue. Uh, got some got some more streaming surprises uh, ahead, which we'll announce soon. The ones once they're locked in, locked in place. Uh, obviously, we. Most of our content updates we already got out on the first during the Kickstarter, um, but there's a couple more content ones, and uh, like I say, some more some more Twitch surprises in the works. Anyways, uh, this is any other questions or whatnot for me? I'm gonna bow up for now. If not earlier, I'll be streaming uh, this Friday at 1 p.m. once again. And I say, generally speaking, Fridays are more play days. Wednesdays are more uh, development. Uh, so on Friday, maybe maybe end up be streaming, um, playing. I think Steve's going to be here too. So Steve and I may be playing, just actually just playing a game of some kind, and then you know something that maybe inspires us. We've got a bunch of games that were inspired. Watch the games that uh, will share some similarities with the tower, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll pick one of those and play them and talk while we're playing. But, to be decided. So... Yeah, folks, thanks a lot. Once again, thanks a lot for, for, for joining in. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Thanks thanks again for all you guys supporting our campaign and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. Cheers, everybody. Talk to you talk to you super, uh, very soon. Like I say, if not earlier, Friday at 1. We'll be back live here. Hey, cheers everybody, have a good one. Thanks again.